Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of FTB Infinity Evolved. And in today's episode, we are going to be working our way, hopefully all the way to a Tinker's Smeltery. That is the plan. I've been very, very busy between episodes, working on building up some infrastructure for food, and I think we are pretty much set on food. Um, I mean, it's not perfect, but I think we are good. I don't think we're going to run out of food. Uh, and I think we have enough... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, and I think we've got enough food set up that we'll be, we'll be all right. You, you may remember last episode, we ran into some problems with mobs and food and all sorts of stuff. And I think I've pretty much got those fixed. So a couple things... Uh, to kind of keep in mind, if you're playing this mod pack on your own, smelting food is really not going to work right away in the early game because you're going to need a redstone furnace to do it or some Pam's Harvest Craft stuff. So one thing you can do to really kind of give yourself a good early game food source is to take two oak saplings and two apples or I'm sorry, one oak sapling and one apple. I'm doing it twice here and make apple saplings from Pam's Harvest Craft. And those will grow these beautiful apple trees that you see right here, which is a pretty good source of food all in all. Um, they're not amazing because the apples do take a little while to grow, but if you get enough of them, it will provide you enough food that you won't have to worry about starving to death at least. So anyway, in today's episode, the first thing that we're going to need to do is get ourselves a bucket. And... This is a perfect example of how expert mode works. So we've got our bucket, right? Normal vanilla recipe, three iron ingots. In Infinity Evolved, it is three iron plates. Okay, how do you make iron plates? Well, you need iron ingots and a forge hammer. How do you get the forge hammer? Iron ingots and treated sticks. How do you get the treated sticks? You need treated wood planks, and for that you need creosote oil, which you need a coke oven for. So, in order to get a bucket, you need a coke oven, essentially. Luckily, I have been busy between episodes. I did some uh, exploring, and let's just go into... Here we go. I went kind of up in here and all around, and I gathered a bunch of sand and gravel and clay and all that kind of stuff. So, I should have everything I need to go ahead and make the coke oven. So, let's go ahead... And make that, it is 26 coke oven bricks. And that is for a multi-block structure. Um, let's just put it back here, I think. This should be fine. And we're basically going to need a 3x3x3 three by three by three area. So let's just hollow this out. Oh, hello, aluminum. And we'll just get that going. I've also got some grout, uh, which is what you use to make seared bricks for the Tinker's Smeltery. I've got some of that cooking up in the ovens right now as well, because I also gathered some clay uh, and all the stuff for that. And that is taking a little while to cook up, but that's fine. So the Coke oven is three blocks like that. Blocks like this, eight with the one hollow, and then three on top. And that makes the Coke oven, which we can use to make creosote oil. So let's take a little bit of the coal out of here and put it in here. And it will slowly turn into coal coke. And that's what we really need uh, to make creosote oil. And also coal coke itself is actually a really good fuel source. It lasts longer than standard coal. As for making grout, if you don't know how, it's just sand, gravel, and clay. And I've got another stack. So once this is all done, we will have a total of three stacks of seared bricks. And that should be enough for us to get our tinker's smeltery going. Now, other cool food sources. I did get pretty lucky in that just north of me, right up here, oh, hello, apple that's ready to be harvested. Um, right up here, kind of over this hill, there's a mushroom biome, a mushroom forest. And there's a bunch of mushrooms over there, which is great for me because I can basically milk them with a bowl 
and get mushroom stew, which re- which restores three hunger ticks. That's better than pretty much anything else that I have access to at this point. So that's pretty good. Um, ideally, I would love to find a village and get that going, but I don't think I'm going to be that lucky. So maybe we'll do a little bit of exploring. Maybe I'll kind of peek around a little bit and see if I can find some, uh, maybe a village or something like this. Oh, there's also this big ravine here. Maybe I'll explore that as well. Uh, But anyway, it's going to take a while for me to smelt everything up and get enough creosote oil and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to do some work, guys, and I'll come back with you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. And we have our bucket and we have our smeltery all good to go. I apologize. I actually recorded the making of the bucket and the putting together of the smeltery, except I may or may not have for I, I kind of forgot to actually hit the record button so I was talking to myself for about five minutes yeah sorry about that uh, so anyway we have our smeltery set up over here um, if you've never made a tinker smeltery before uh, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail because it's a very, very common mod. Uh, but basically, you take your tinkers, you take your um, your seared bricks that you get from smelting grout, and then you just put them in a bunch of different configurations to make all the stuff. And then once you've got that done, you put them all together in a multi-block structure like this, and it makes the smeltery. And the smeltery is great for ore doubling. And I already showed you guys how to make the bucket earlier in the episode, so you really didn't miss anything too important. But now that we've got the smeltery set up, there are some things that we really need to do. So first and foremost, I'm going to need aluminum brass, and I need that to make casts so that I can make stuff in the smeltery, essentially. Okay, so let's take a look at a few things. First of all, I want to take a look at the recipe for the tool forge. I'm almost positive it changed. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I need either dense refined iron plates or terra steel ingots. And that's kind of... Yeah, that's not going to happen for a while. Okay, that's fine, though. We still want metal tools, so that we can do with our current tool station uh, right here. But first, we need to make ingot casts. So let's take a look, and let's grab... Where's my cobble? In this chest. I added a chest for blocks. That's right. Okay. Oh, and I need my stencils. Here we go. So, stencils, first and foremost, let's make... Oh, wait, no. Here we go, tool station. First and foremost, let's make ourselves a stone pickaxe head. Let's make ourselves a stone binding. I do not have a tool rod. Oh, okay. I thought I had the... uh the tool rod pattern, but I guess not. I'll make that real quick. Uh, stencils, you tool rod. There we go. And I'll just put that right here. And then what else do I want to make right away? Probably a sword. And... I think that's pretty much all I need right now, at least. Um, I'll upgrade that more as we go, but that's that's really the big things. Uh, the other thing that I really need is some sort of gear. And I think I can just use a wooden gear uh, to make the gear cast. I think. Let's double check that. Let's see if it says in NEI... Stone gear. I can use any gear except for the wooden one. Okay. That's easy enough. So, we'll make the wooden gear. And then we will surround it with cobblestone. And that should make the stone gear. There we go. Beautiful. Now that we've got all that done, we have aluminum brass in our smeltery. It's now time 
to make ourselves some casts. And these are going to be used to essentially take stuff out of the smeltery. Uh, so if I want to make a tool rod out of, say, iron, I need to pour iron into this cast. So I'm going to get uh, a bunch of these casts made for different stuff, and then I'll come back to you. All right, guys, I am back. And one of the uh, one thing I should probably mention is it's uh, really important to make an ingot cast as well. And to do that, you can just put a seared brick or a normal brick or any kind of ingot in the furnace and then pour the aluminum brass over it. Uh, you can also use uh, molten gold in place of aluminum brass if you have it. I did not, so I did not use it in this case. Uh, but let's go ahead and make ourselves some iron tool parts here. And let's go with an iron sword blade as well. There we go. And I believe that we also have iguana tweaks in here. So I think I can swap out tool parts if and only if the tools are fully repaired. So we're going to find out. Let's see here. If I do that, mm, doesn't look like it. I might, I think I'm going to have to remake the entire tool. Let me just double check. Yeah, no swapping of tool parts. Okay. So, in that case, let's go about remaking this tool. And I think what we'll do... Yeah, I think we'll go uh, part builder. We'll make the bindings out of stone because then I also get the stone bound um, modifier essentially which basically just means um, that the lower in durability the tool gets the faster it'll go which is not bad I mean it's it's better than nothing um, and then we'll go into our tool station and let's make an iron pick there we go and that will mine redstone for us. And then let's also go ahead and... Oh, why did I make another stone binding? That's not what I wanted. I wanted to make another... I made wanted to make a wide guard out of cobble. Cobble. There we go. Mm-hmm. There we go. Okay. And we'll make our sword out of iron as well, just so we can do a little bit more damage, because that might come in handy. Now, I should probably make some sort of chest to store our uh, ingot casts in. So, let's go ahead and make a chest. Now, normally I would make a pattern chest, which you make like this for over by the smeltery. But I think given the fact that wood is a bit more expensive, uh, I think I'm just going to kind of leave that one be just for the moment. And let's actually do this as well. Let's put you up here. And we'll put that pattern chest in between the stencil table and the part builder. Like that. And then all of these patterns can go in there. There we go. And you can get that. Okay, I think we're good. So we've got ourselves a nice smeltery going here. We've got, uh, let's put the chest just like right here. And we can put all this stuff in there. Now, the nice thing, the other nice thing that I can use this for is ore doubling. So that is what I'm going to do. We'll put our ingot cast in here pour out all of our iron, and I'm just going to use the smeltery here to double my ores. And that will really come in handy because it's going to allow me to do more with the ore that I've gathered. And then hopefully, now that I've got an iron pick, hopefully I'll now be able to go mining, get some redstone, get some gold, get some diamonds, get all that kind of good stuff, and we should be able to progress. I'm hoping that by episode 5 we'll be moved out of this derpy little starting area and into some sort of proper home, whatever that may be. Um, it is going to be a while before I'm able to really 
get going as far as, uh, you know, really good tools and stuff like that goes because, well, you saw the recipe for the Tool Forge. It's it's quite it's a quite a bit farther in the game, but we will be able to get into some basic power. Um, I need to look at some generators and see. I think the assembly table is going to be relatively early on our list. Let's just take a look at maybe the survivalist generator. Block of coal, iron gear, couple of furnaces, a piston. That's actually pretty doable. What about the culinary generator? Hmm. That's not too bad either. In fact, that's... Hmm. What's the presser? Did they change the recipe for that? Um, I think that's a change, but it's super, it's not a super difficult change. We'll have to get into that, I think, a little bit. For now, I think what I'm going to do is, before the episode ends, I'm going to go on a little mining adventure and see what I can come up with. Uh, once I'm all done mining, guys, I will come back to you. So I'll be back in just a while. All right, guys, I am back, and I was just mining out this little uh, mine shaft here. And the way that I do this is basically... Um, 10 doors, and each one is three spaces apart. So door, three spaces, door, three spaces all the way down, and there's 10 sets of them. And then I'll just dig them out for as far as I feel like going. And I was coming to the end of this, the 10th door would go like right here. And look what I came across. I found me some diamonds. So we're going to grab those up. I figured I'd... Hello, dense diamond or let's be friends man that's awesome so i wanted to share the first diamonds of the new world with you guys i figured you guys would want to see that so anyway i think i'm going to uh finish up this mine shaft just kind of mining out the uh the initial little bit anyway uh there we go that looks pretty good and then we'll just kind of start this side like that. There we go. All right, so we got our first set of doors in the mine shaft, and as far as stuff that I managed to get my hands on, I got a bunch of cobble. I got some redstone, which is going to be really important. I found some coal, a little bit more iron, uh, quite a bit of silver, a little bit of gold, some of that kind of stuff. Uh, but not uh, not as much iron as I was hoping to find. I was hoping to find some more of that, and I was also hoping to find a bit more coal and a bit more gold. But then again, I didn't really mine that far, so um, I can't complain too much. Uh, one really helpful tip that I should probably give you guys, as you know, if you're playing this mod pack, wood is really hard to come by because the you only get two planks per log and you only get two sticks for every two planks. So essentially, you can only get two sticks for each log that you find, and you need those to make torches, right? Well, not quite. Since Tinker's Construct is in here, just want to remind you guys, in case you'd have forgotten, you can actually make stone tool rods with cobblestone like that, and if you take a stone tool rod and put on top of it coal, bam, you can make torches just like that. So you can actually use cobble to get uh, your torches, which is really handy in a mod pack like this, where wood is pretty hard to come by. But guys, I think that is going to do it for me in this episode. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll definitely see you next time.